It's like we're in a war against this virus. All hands on deck, leave politics behind. As you know, we have this mandate to go out in the communities to do the vaccination for COVID-19. And today we are doing the Johnson & Johnson, which is the one injection. And it is loved by a lot of people, especially the men who don't like meagles. Because the Johnson & Johnson is just one illegal. And they are enjoying it. How has the turnout been? The turnout is slow, but as any other community intervention, I guess we just have to wait and see if more people will be mobilized later. We have organized with the Ministry of Health two um, vaccination centers in the constituency today. So this is one of them at Jonestown Primary School, mm -hmm. and the other is at the Trenchtown Polytechnic College. Yes. Right. And you know, we did um, some flyers to promote it and a town cry we had, um, with a voice message which I made and they drove around. And so, you know, people came out early and, you know, they're, they're still coming. I hope that we get more numbers, you know. There's a lot of hesitancy around the place, as you know, in the community and so on. So, but I feel the more people who get vaccinated in the community it will encourage others so these people are you know very i'm very very pleased um, right. that they are here and have taken the um bull step to get vaccinated and uh, you know and that over trenchtown college i believe we'll have a good turnout there as well so you know it's a start i don't think this should be a one-time thing i hope we can repeat this fairly reg regularly because i'm sure as time passes demand is going to continue to grow and I think people like to be able to do it in their community because they don't have to spend the money on taxi. And when they come, they don't have a long, long waiting in a big crowd, you know? Yeah. So I think that is a better system. We've been calling for it. And I reached out to the government from about mid-August to ask them if we could do this. And, you know, they kept saying yes, but nothing was happening. So I eventually I reached out to Mackenzie because Minister Mackenzie, they had already done you know, as usual, the first place to get done was West Kingston, that's Trenchtown and Denham Town. But he's my neighbor and we have a good cordial relationship. So I reached out to him and said, well, we must be next then. And um, he said, yes, he would arrange. So here we are today. We're not politicizing it. As you can see, there's no orange, no branding as such, but we are um, using our constituency organization, which is a strong organization to help get um, the thing going, you know? And as I said, in these communities, there's a tremendous amount of hesitancy, you know, yes. the amount of misinformation that, that flows through social media, videos with all these people professing to be experts who are saying pure negativity about vaccination. It's a hard challenge. You have to really try and persuade people. And, you know, that's what we're trying to do. And we will continue and stick to it because I believe at the end of the day that if Jamaica doesn't get to a, a, a significant percentage of the population vaccinated, this COVID thing is going to go on and on and on. And we need to conquer it, you know? So that's why I kind of use metaphors of, of wartime, you know? It's like we're in a war against this virus. All hands on deck, leave politics behind. That's not to say as the opposition, we must do our job, which is to hold the government accountable. And we've been doing that. And you know, from time to time, we take positions which are strident, but we have to. But at the same time, when it comes to organizing the society to get vaccinated and any other positive things that we think have to be done, we are on board as part of a national effort and we're not playing politics with it.